Hey, as uh, many know, I've been uh, 3D printing for quite some time, so I uh, just recently started a, a new project here, which may turn into something more than a project, I think. I, um, you know, obviously still doing all the car stuff, all that's going to still happen, but um, in the meantime, I've been uh, spending some time inside. I've got a, you know, three-year-old daughter, and she, uh, she can't spend all the time in the garage, so... Um, when I'm inside, I'm working on some 3D printing stuff, and I just wanted to kind of go over uh, what I've been doing. So, I recently became uh, absolutely addicted to uh, a TV show. It's on Amazon called The Expanse. It was originally a sci-fi deal. Uh, six seasons based on six books. There's nine books so total, so far at least. Um, anyways, TV show is based on the first six so far. Uh, it's canceled for now. Hopefully that uh, changes. But in the meantime, I uh, have been, again, 3D printing. So I wanted to go over this. And one, the, um, the person who um, designed this model, um, I couldn't, like, YouTube wouldn't let me send him a link any other way. So I told him I'd make a video. So here we are. Um, anyways, uh, Martin... Uh, Taichi, Tachi, I'm not sure how to say his last name. I do apologize in advance if you're watching this. Uh, I'll link to his um, original videos in the description. Um, but anyways, this is the Rasananti, or Tachi, it was originally called. Um, the design here is based on um, its final rendition, basically, in the very last season, the very last uh, episode, actually, if you will. I'm gonna show some pictures um, probably speckled throughout this. Um, anyways, so this is it. Um, again, pretty detailed model. This is actually printed at 150%, so it's about 30 inches long total from, uh, you know, tail to the uh, antennas here on the front. Um, anyways, great little model. Um, there's all sorts of super cool little, um, additions that, uh, you know, Martin has done on this, so I'm just going to kind of go through a couple. Uh, so first, there's what they call uh, PDCs, or um, Primary Defense Cannons, I think is what they stand for. Uh, anyways, so this, the ship has six, and in this case, all six of them actually come out and can be aimed to a certain extent. So I think that's a super cool feature. So there's one, there's another up here on the bow, and then there's another up here. Let me pull that guy out of his spot. Like so this one doesn't stay up because of gravity, but um, you can see it's up there. It's pretty cool. And then the other one is down underneath here. So again, super detailed model. And I'm gonna go and uh, move this and we'll come right back. All right, so got the uh, Rosanante standing up here. And right now I've just got it setting on, it's the, we'll call it a drive cone, right? So it's the uh, fusion um, propulsion engine here. Anyways, in the very last uh, couple seasons, they added some landing gear to this guy. Uh, so one thing, so Martin did a good job of modeling this, um, but there was something that I didn't quite like about the way he did it. Which, no offense, Martin, um, but I did change up the way these work just a little bit. Instead of this being a push fit piece, I um, so I print the, all of this in ASA. And so I used acetone to basically glue these pieces together. It makes it just a little more streamlined. I, so I modified this. I completely redesigned this pivot here. I redesigned the pins. And if you can see the center leg, um, they all three were that size, but I actually uh, redesigned them and made these outer ones half size. Just to me, it looked a little bit better. Um, so you can see you've got you know, four functioning legs here. Again, pretty cool setup. Get the, that's 
in the way. There we go. And then the fourth leg. So that's what it would look like um, when it's landed on the ground. Um, so something that's neat about this, if you're not familiar with the series, is the ship is actually built um, internally in um, like flights, like a, like a skyscraper. So there'd be, you know, down here obviously engineering, um, fusion drive, that sort of thing. And then each different deck goes this direction so that as it's accelerating, it actually creates like artificial gravity. So it's a little weird when you start, like until you like really start to think about it, and then it really makes sense. So moving on, just a few other kind of neat little details about the model here. Um, in the last episode, um, they'd reinforced um, a lot of the, the armor. So basically this stuff that looks like it has like a hexagonal pattern to it. Um, that's all that reinforced armor. You can see it's down here around uh, the drive area and then up here around, uh, this would be where the pilot would sit and the crew basically when um, they're in maneuvers and that sort of thing. So up here also, something that I think is pretty cool is we've got a little door here that door slides away and that reveals an airlock and that airlock actually if i can do this without pulling the model over completely extends um, so a great piece of uh, you know engineering and 3d printing um, again just a super cool deal so then we can just stuff that back in there and then that up and there we go so I forget how many pieces are here in total um, but it's about in this size in this scale and the detail so I printed it at 0.15 uh, layer height um, but either way it was about 16 days worth of printing and that's using um, a Prusa MK3S um, I actually have two of them so it's half that really um, I did make some changes, again, to the landing legs. Um, just a few small little details. I, I had to scale the, uh, the little bridge or the extension, um, the air, air dock there. Um, anyways, aside from that, great model. Um, and I do, I'm actually, <laughs> ironically, I'm going to print another one. Um, and as soon as I'm done printing that, I'm going to actually... Uh, paint it before I assemble it and I'm probably gonna do it in the same scale I think this this is just an amazing scale for this thing So yeah, so that's the the Rossinanti and then We have the Razorback so I'm actually in the process of finishing this um, did some sanding on it filler I'm trying to get rid of some of the layer lines. This is actually one, two, three, four pieces high. Um, it's actually scaled to meet, to match with the uh, Rossinante. The Rossinante is 46 meters tall. Well, in, I'd say in real life, but in the show. Um, and then the Razorbacks, I think it's 22 meters. Uh, so just under half. So pretty good comparison there. You can see between the two of them. It's a fairly detailed model also. Um, I, I don't remember the person's name who uploaded it, but uh, I'll try to find a link and put it in the description below. So if you want to print it um, yourself, you can. This is also scaled up from, from original. Again, in, in my intention here was to you know, match the same scale as the, as the Rossi. So there you are. All right, and uh, last but not least, um, Something I've been playing with. This is a, uh, it's an airsoft gun. Um, I forget the name. APS is, an, is the company. Um, UAR is the model name. I think it stands for Urban something assault. Either way, um, this is going to be a replica of the um, MCRN assault rifle. That's what a Urban assault rifle, sorry. 
Um, anyway, MCRN assault rifle. Um, it's not there yet, but I've been designing these pieces. So like this is pretty close match to um, what it looks like in the TV show. Uh, obviously that'll be attached. Let's see what it looks like on the front there. This is white and then this is black and this is like another barrel of some sorts. Um, it's not very specific in the show as to what does what, but um, aesthetically obviously is what we're going for here. Um, I added a second barrel up here. It's not real, it's just for looks, but it's a pretty close match to the um, the original barrel. Um, again, all this stuff is, I, like, I designed and 3D printed it myself. Um, and then the top here, you can see it's got a, um, you know, some sort of scope, right? Like it doesn't, again, it doesn't, they're not very specific in the show. Um, this is a copy like from a, uh, you know, visual copy of essentially. Um, but I did make it somewhat functional. I'm not sure if you can see in there. There is actually, uh, you know, what we'll call a, a reticle essentially. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that so far. And then what I'm working on right right the second is in the show. There's a uh, it's probably aluminum if I had to guess, but um, it's a red like handle brace that comes off of the base of the grip here and goes up to where the magazine would normally be. Now they don't have real magazines, so it's like not functional in the show, obviously. Um, so that'll be covered up. I actually think I'm going to make it so I can remove it, so I can actually use a real, you know, airsoft uh, magazine. But for now, I just started with um, some prototyping. Same out there. So this is like the overall shape. And then in Fusion 360, I've started to um, design the rest of it. Um, and then that's really about it. So it's very, you know, they just, they tacked some things on to a pretty common um, airsoft rifle in this, in this case. Uh, I actually have ordered um, two other airsoft pistols. Um, one of them is the same base pistol as they use for, you know, the UNN, um, handguns and then the other one is going to be a copy of the MCRN um, pistol. So uh, again it's kind of cool they used all airsoft guns. Um, my intention is to keep them um, functional. Again this one may have to take off this brace. I plan to make it removable so that uh, you can function, you know, it will function um, as a you know real weapon obviously. And then this whole thing is going to get um, seracoded when it's all said and done so that all the you know, the colors and everything are proper um, and match. So I do intend on publishing all the, the files so that anybody could do this. Um, and then if anybody wants, I can probably, uh, you know, print them copies if they want. Or I may end up, you know, assembling a couple of them. I'm not sure yet. So anyways, pretty neat uh, stuff. Again, super um, addicted to the uh, Expanse. It's a great, great show. Very uh, well thought out. Um, good acting, I think, at least. Uh, well written and like, <laughs> it's ironic, but um, like one of the most important things to me is that it's, um, it's like as accurate as I could foresee the future of humans in space. So um, it's not quite Star Trek, obviously. Um, but it, it's more realistic, I think. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna go around the room. Um, since I do, I just wanna show uh, some of the space stuff. So we got some screenshots from um, the Expanse up on the screens there. These guys, of course, give you an idea of scale. Um, but also up here, uh, some favorites I've got uh, Battlestar Galactica and the Cylon um, oh gosh what's it called Cylon Star something like that either way the Cylon ship so we got those guys over here we've got 
the USS Voyager. Similar design to the um, L cars um, displays that you would see like on the ship. Um, I haven't hidden that wire yet because I'm not 100% sure that's where this is going to stay. Um, i got to find a place to put those guys, obviously. Um, up here, these are actually all Legos. <laughs> um, got the uh, uh, ISS, International Space Station, some tiny little um, satellites, a little mini shuttle, and Hubble deployed up there. And then over here, we've got Discovery. And I've actually, I've, one of these days, I'm gonna finish printing um, Discovery, the Star Trek ship, Discovery, um, and hang him up here uh, to go with his uh, ancestor, basically. But anyways, that's, that's uh, what I've been working on lately. Um, again, all the car stuff that's coming. Um, got had some did a bunch of work in the garage just recently, so um, get that uh, get a video made about um, you know the car stuff. The one of the reasons is that it's taking so long is we just moved, so we're in Orlando, Florida now. So um, this is all you know the whole whole house is all new. Got a little bit smaller garage, so. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.